Hi, welcome. So I just made a four part tutorials on the basic of MIDI Guyver. And now I want to show you how we can take the last one of the projects, the one that you use ortho remote control to hook it up to something else. And I think a great idea will be to start by using it on Blender. So I hook it up to Blender and I have been using it to drive my animations. So you can say here, I'm like going through the frames, very easy, just with one finger. And also I can like start it wherever I want to, stop it and rewind. So this has eased a lot of my workflow and I want to teach you how to do uh, the same. So let's jump in. Let's start it um, where we left last time in, the, in part four of the um, first series of tutorials. So I'm going to use uh, the example that we set up and I'm going to reuse it. But in this time, instead of like having a uniform that drives the time, the adaptation that we need to do is to drive the frame number. So here I jump ahead and I already could, um, copy paste the code and did some like changes. And I want to tell you a little bit about them. So I simplify most of the logic. We're not going slower or faster when it's in play mode. Uh, you only go back and forward, so it goes more frames or less frames. And an uh, important change that I made here in the interval that the pulse is going to be uh, um, emitting pulses <laughs> um, is going to be uh, 41. And this and where these come numbers comes from uh, comes from the from doing. Um, for doing one divided 24 because we have 24 frames by second. So basically uh, that we, we will need to make sure that the interval that is doing um, in match that. So the animation will look smooth. Uh, basically, if you want to use a different frame rate in, in Blender, what you need to modify is this number and do one divided the number of frames by second. So that's, that's pretty much it. You can then work on automating this, especially if you have another controller, uh, you can set it up to automatically divide the number, for example, when you go faster or slower. Anyway, uh, this is something that having all your YAML files all attached to the same uh, file, it will like pay off. Um, so this is going to be the, the pulse that is only going to send you frames uh, when it's in play mode. Uh, the play button is toggled here. It will turn on and off if the value is 100 when you, when it's, when you press. Uh, and then the frame is, on, is going to send, and I'm here sending uh, half the half a frame. So it's not so sensitive, the, the um, ortho remote to the, uh, to the events coming from the ortho remote. So as you can see, the code is very minimal. Uh, and it's like about 40 lines of code. Here I'm going to add one more output, which is going to be um, comma separated values. I'm going to save this, and what we're going to do, we're going to run uh, MIDI Giver, and you will see the numbers of the frames coming in. So when it comes to negative, Blender is going to not, it's not going to understand what you, when you mean with negative num uh, frames. Also, it, does, it will not understand the 0.5. We can add more code to the YAML file to like dispose those ones that they're like fractional, but I'm trying to keep it simple. Uh, and I want to show you that with the movement of the, movement of the dial, uh, it goes back and forth. And then if you press, it will go um, as expected. So let's go, let's rewind this and worry about the next step, what we need to do. So the next thing that we will need to do is to have something on the receiving end, which is the uh, blender, uh, and we need to open an OCC um, port on blender. And for that, we're going to use an other call called add routes. So uh, this is from the, it used to be called add MIDI and add OCC, 
and he and the author like mix it all up in one single um, um, atom. So you're going to link here and this is going to download a zip file uh, that is ready to go uh, and it will work Windows, Mac and Linux. You download it and then in Blender and you know this hustle, you come to preferences, you do install, in this case it's in uh, downloads and I will install here and add roots latest. So I already have it installed so I'm going to skip that step but here and what is key is that I'm going to um, we're going to take a look to the properties and I want to point out that you need to here you can specify the OCC um, set, uh, port that is going to be listening uh, and you can see it's in the local host and it's in 9001. Um, one uh, one that was hard. Okay. Um, and I already, if we go back to the, I already have this uh, set up and sending to the 901. 1001. Um, so this is hooked up. Next thing is you're going to see this, uh, let me delete this, you're going to see these uh, routes um, uh, tab here and here in a, to, to tr try to like condense it all, you can add routes or lead these ports to drive information uh, from the, for this particular project or for the system. So this means that the system means that it's going to be there the next time you load Blender. And that's exactly how I have it because this is something that I just want to like turn on and use it in any other project that I'm working on Blender. So we're gonna hit here in add system road. Um, and here we have to basically uh, pair it with, um, with the frame. So. Here I'm gonna say we're gonna modify the values that are gonna come through OCC are gonna change the D scene scenes. This is gonna be the main scene known as scene uh, dot frame current. Here in engine we're gonna click OCC and in the address we're gonna hit uh, frame which if I move again you will see that that's the name of the address that we are sending everything is coming under the name uh, frame I'm gonna go back sorry for that uh, the next things I want to say is that we're gonna replace uh, and this is gonna be receiving so this should be uh, working and as you can see now is this the camera on yes is that if we look here we can change basically the um, which is the, the, the frame and if I hit it animates so let's let's do a simple animation uh, let's uh, go to the camera view let's hit view lock to camera we're gonna set up this as our uh, initial we're gonna set this in uh, to our camera this is gonna be our um, insert keyframes uh, so it's gonna start here and then when we get here we want to go to this other one so here we're gonna set hit, hit insert keyframe and we have a problem which is the camera rotation doesn't happen automatically uh, we can keyframe the animations a thing that I really like to do is basically uh, add a constraint the constraint will say track 2 here we choose the cube we set up um, this y as the up and there you go so basically this will attach the camera to the cube it's going to look to the cube whatever it is and then now we can hit play and the animation is done it took us no time um, it's, 
and it's pretty cool because now you can control all your cameras or animations with this nice uh, ortho remote control uh, from Teenage Engineer. So I hope you like it. I hope you subscribe right now. Um, let's keep in touch so I can we can like um, keep making more of this. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye.